Well, hi everybody. This is going to be an opening box on this UFAN model kit. It's about a 124 scale Supergirl figure. As you can see it's quite a small kit. You get a free gift, a little sanding stick. That's kind of nice. I'll try to keep everything in frame here. It's a very small package. That's uh, what we get with it here. And the parts are on this little baggie. And then inside this are individual bags. It's her boots and her arms. Her uh, skirt. Her head and her abdomen, her body. Here's a little base. Here's her cape. And the rest of the base. So that's it. Comes in this little baggie with this little black piece of cardboard just to, to show the pieces there. So there's the pieces, such as they are. It's very detailed. It's resin and needs a little bit of cleanup probably. And I'll uh, prime it with uh, probably some light grey primer and then uh, airbrush the red and probably hand paint the rest. These are the seven pieces that are involved in the uh, Supergirl uh, 124 scale model kit, resin kit. I've taken some poster putty and covered up the glue points, like here and here, and on her arms here and her neck where her head will attach, and on here where her foot attaches, and on here where her arms and, feet and boots will attach. And I've painted, painted it all uh, with the airbrush with the Vallejo uh, light grey primer. So you can see there's a fair bit of detail. I'm, going to, I'm probably going to end up brush painting most of this because uh, the airbrush is, is pretty uh, hard to get into the, all the little grooves and so on. So the first step in painting Supergirl figure, I've taken the DecoArt Deep Red Craft Acrylic Paint and just brushed it in between the folds of her cape and her skirt and just around uh, thin, quite thin with water um, around the inside of her skirt here just to get the darker uh, folds and make sure that's covered and also the inside of the cape that was brushed on then what I'll probably do is airbrush the uh, red bright red craft acrylic on the cape and I'll, but I'll hand brush the uh, the skirt and the boots with the uh, red On the cape I did a little bit of shading with some uh, burgundy, which is a little darker color, just in the folds uh, on the inside of the cape. I left the outside just in the, in the uh, red and the natural shading will, will work on there. There's two little um, points on the top of the cape that fold into her shoulders. This piece here broke off and during the uh, painting. I, was, I was, had it clipped onto the bracket that was holding it and it, this piece broke off here and I've had to super glue it two or three times so I'm hoping that when I put that on her shoulders and super glue it on that that will uh, seal it and hold it on for good. I've got the uh, arms and legs put on so that's coming along pretty well and uh, got her um, sealed with uh, 
Colia L.A. Colia some mop and shine just to knock down some of the glossiness on her skin and her clothes. So I'll probably put another coat on once she's completed. I have to put the cape on before the head goes on and then uh, it's pretty much done. And I've got the base done and a few washes on that just to uh, highlight it a bit. Uh, just some light and dark gray on the step, the stone steps. I've done a, a brick red on the this material here and uh, a couple of light brown and dark brown washes on the uh, ground part there. I put uh, gunmetal around the edge uh, over a gloss black and then some silver just around the top just to uh, make it pop a little bit. So we're almost completed. So fully built, this little figure is about two and three quarter inches tall or about 70 millimeters. <laughs>